Hello gorgeous year one superstars, it's Mrs Greaves here again with another RE lesson. Oh I can't wait to see you back in school and we've not got very long to wait now. Can you remember we're talking about Jesus being very special and today we're going to be thinking about being friends as well. So last week we thought about what makes a good friend. We thought about good friends that we know from films. We thought about good friends from stories and we watched the clip about Superworm. And we needed to answer some of these questions. I'm sure you had a good chat about how we make friends, who your special friends are, what makes a person a good friend, how you show somebody that you're a good friend and what activities do you do with your friends? I know I had a conversation in year two earlier this week and they had some amazing ideas and Mr Dylan Barchard was fantastic. He had some really good ideas too and I bet you have all had some good ideas as well. So so, OK, RE detectives, if you had really good observation, really good eyes, you might have spotted a clue on the previous slide with Jesus and his special friends. We talked about it last week. Here's another clue. Here's the... What was it? His disciples. But what about his friends' names? Did you like the song from last week? You could watch it again and see how many of Jesus' friends you can remember. Now, let's take a look at the clues to today's story. I haven't got my special bag at home, so we're going to have to make do with this picture. Down in the bottom corner, I think you can spot Jesus. If you rummage around in the bag, you might be able to feel a beginner's Bible in there. Oh, what are these other pictures? Who could be in our story today, I wonder? What about the man? Can you spot what he's got in his net? Yeah, it's full of fish, full of fish. And there we've got some water and a boat. And if I move out of the way, you can see a crowd of people sitting on the grass wonder what they're doing there. Let's find out a little bit more. You could pause the video here and talk about the story it might be. Wonder if anybody can guess correctly. So you need to click on the link and watch the story. It might be a good idea to watch the story at least twice through because it's only short and you're going to need to know the story quite well for the next activity. Pause the video, find your clip and remember that man is very special. Can you spot the part of the story where it's clear how special Jesus is? Woohoo! It's time for your independent task now and I've got to admit I've been a bit naughty because what I've done is I've collected all of these pictures from the story but I've muddled them all up. I've not made it easy for you. I've muddled them up and I've muddled up the sentences to go with the pictures. So what I'd like you to do is to look at the pictures and see if you can put them in the right order for the story. Don't forget, if you're struggling a little bit, you can always watch that video again and you can see what order they go in. Now, for the children in class can have the pictures printed out without any trouble, but if you're at home and you can't do that, don't worry about it. You could just use the screen here and you could think about the pictures and put them into order. You could tell somebody, maybe a sibling, maybe a parent, you could tell them what order you think the picture should go in. 
If you've got glue at home, even better, because you can cut out the pictures and you can glue them onto the second sheet that you can see here beside me. Now, you know we love having fun in RE. So here's some more ideas. And especially if you're at home and you're not able to do that activity, the cutting out and sticking activity, don't worry about it because you could act out the story. If we were in class, that's exactly what we do. We turn over the tables in class and we'd make some blue water. We'd have some blue cloth to make the water and we pretend that we were hauling in, hauling in the nets full of fish. Oh, it'd be fantastic. You could still do that. You could have a little go at home, couldn't you? Don't make any mess without asking for permission though. Maybe you've got a younger brother or sister, or maybe you've got a really cuddly teddy, and you could tell the story to your cuddly teddy or your sibling. Maybe you'd like to draw a picture of your favourite part of the story. Mm, I think I would draw the part where Peter says, that man is very special. And I draw it with a big net full of hundreds and hundreds of colourful fish. I wonder if you've got a chance, you could go to bed tonight and you could get your beginner's Bible out and you could find some more amazing stories about Jesus, about how he shows how special he is. Because next week, we're going to be exploring another fantastic story. Well, I hope you have a lovely time enjoying this lesson today. And I can't wait to see you back in school very, very soon. Just one more week to go, everybody, and we'll all be back in school with our friends. So take care. Can't wait to see your lovely work. Bye, everybody.